हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होप यू पीपल आर फाइन टूडे द लास्ट थर्टी क्वेश्चन आई विल डिस्कस हेयर द लास्ट थर्टी क्वेश्चन मीन्स द वेल्डिंग इंस्पेक्टर इट वॉज टोटल नाइन्टी क्वेश्चन तो सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन इट इज अपलोडेड पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू सो दिस इज द पार्ट थ्री दिस इज टोटल नाइन्टी क्वेश्चन वॉट आई टोल्ड यू दिस नाइन्टी क्वेश्चन इज वेरी हेल्पफुल इफ यू आर गोइंग एज ए वेल्डिंग इंस्पेक्टर इंटरव्यू सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी हेल्पफुल सो विल स्टार्ट नाउ द लास्ट थर्टी क्वेश्चन सो प्लीज बी कंसेंट्रेट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग टू एंड एंड दोज पीपल स्टिल नॉट सब्सक्राइब प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल देन यू देन इट विल एनकरेज टू मी टू हेल्प यू अ लॉट एंड यू विल नॉट मिस एनी वीडियोज इन फ्यूचर सो लेट स्टार्ट विच आर द डॉक्यूमेंट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच आर द डॉक्यूमेंट फॉर एसेंशियल वेरियबल मस्ट बी डॉक्यूमेंटेड सो गिव सम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एसेंशियल document give some example of document where essential variable is documented so the answer is should be wph pqr wpq these are the document where essential variable must be documented so the question you understand the answer is wph pqr and wpq question number 2 why should we use purging gas when welding of stainless steel why you are using the purging gas of welding of stainless steel the answer is one or two what will be there only to avoid discoloration the answer will be to avoid discoloration so the purging gas why we are used when welding of stainless steel question number 3 p number are used to designate group of why we are use the p number which group to designate the answer is base metal we are using the p number because of the designate group of base metal So question number three is completed. Now question number four: What position are necessary to qualify a welder for all position pipe welding? So give one position. Which position are if you qualify the welder, then that all position will be qualified for that particular welder. So answer is two G and five G. Another is six G. So two G and five G also and and one answer and also six G is another answer. so these two answer will be there question number 5 what is the number of transport guide vent test is required for performance qualification for 6g position so how many test is required guide vent test is required for performance qualification for 6g position that is two numbers two numbers is required the guide vent test for performance qualification for 6g position Question number six: A welder qualified by welding in the 5G position is qualified for what position in plate? So, if he one welder qualified in 5G position, what position he is qualified in plate? So, answer is vertical and overhead he is qualified. So, he is qualified for the vertical and overhead. Question number seven: Name two defects that would cause visual rejection of a welded test piece and plate. So, tell two defects when the Welder is doing the welding in test piece. If you see some defect is there, some defects, it could be rejection of your piece. So answer is porosity and underfill. So if you see in welder qualification test, and if you see in porosity and underfill, definitely it will be rejected. The test piece will be rejected. Question number eight: A variable that when changed will cause a change in the mechanical property of the weldment is called. so which variable if you change then mechanical properties will be also change so answer is essential variable essential variable if you change then definitely you need to change the wps question number 9 which standard is used for the basic requirement for visual ins inspection you should know this one bscn 7079 is the standard used for the basic requirement for visual inspection question number 10 What is the main purpose of the pre and post flow function of a of a TIG welding machine on a TIG welding machine? So, what is the purpose of the pre and post flow function? The purpose is very important. The surface inclusion. So, answer is surface inclusion. Question number eleven. What is the recommended minimum range of illumination required by ES EN nine seven zero for inspection of welded surface? So, you are checking a visual welding inspection. Welded surface. What is what will be the illumination? Illumination will be the 150 to 250 lux. Will be the illumination. The answer is 150 to 250. Question number 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व इज इट फ्री मा परमिशेबल टू अलाउ वेल्डिंग टू बी कैरिड आउट इन बैड वेदर डेफिनेटली वी कैन डू इन द बैड वेदर विथ प्रोटेक्शन येस एज लॉन्ग एज देर इन एडिक्यूट प्रोटेक्शन इज देयर वी कैन डू द वेल्डिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन वर्ड जॉइंट वुड बी मोर सक्सेप्टेबल टू लैमिल टियरिंग सो एंसर इज कंपाउंड ऑल इफ यू सी द कंपाउंड ऑल देन डेफिनेटली इट कूड बी मोर सक्सेप्टेबल टू लैमिल टियरिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन अकॉर्डिंग टू ए डब्ल्यू एस टू पॉइंट फोर वेर डज द सिम्बल गो फॉर वेल्डिंग सो इफ यू सी इन ए डब्ल्यू एस ए टू पॉइंट फोर द सिम्बल on the arrow side on the arrow side means definitely it should be below the solid line below the solid line it is the on the arrow side question number 15 what is the maximum ocb allowable to initiate an arc when using ac dc ac or dc plus positive current so maximum ocb this is very important question how much the maximum ocb allowable to initiate an arc it should be 1000 volt 1000 volt is required to initiate a arc an arc question number 16 why is it essential to clean the weld area on completion of the production weld definitely if you are doing the welding if welder is doing the welding after welding it should be clean prior to visual inspection why answer is to ensure it is suitably clean for visual inspection so we have to check the visual inspection the before that we have to need we have to need the clean that area Question number seventeen. What unit of measurement is used for charge impact testing? That is kilojoule per mm. That unit is kilojoule per mm. Question number eighteen. In MIG mag welding, what would be affected if CTWD contact tip to workpiece distance was extended? Extended. If you see the contact tip to workpiece distance is extended, then what will happen in MIG mag welding? The amperes will be the affected. So affected. the parameter is amperes question number 19 who should select the specific oil for ndt to cover the 10% contractual percentage required by the specification who should select this will be the reference in the inspection on test plan so it is not selection it should be finalization the contract and the contractor and the client doc client and that one agreed in contract document so this will be the inspection in the test plan the reference you can see question number 20 name one of the process uses a constant current electrical characteristic so this is the simple question but it is a little bit difficult if you not remind it so question number 20 is the answer is mig mag welding so mig mag welding is the correct answer Question number twenty-one. Why should visual inspection of the excess weld metal at the bottom of cross-country pipeline be important? You see, in cross-country pipeline, I also experience in cross-country pipeline. Whenever I go to check at site, I see the visual inspection at the bottom side. Why? This is very important because the point is very stringent. First thing, the bottom side is very stringent to see. also the overhead condition the weld the most difficulty in welding so we need to check very clearly visual inspection whether it is in satisfactory level or not so this is the answer question number 22 what is the main element involved in solidification cracking what is the main element the molybdenum is the main element to involved in solidification cracking question number 23 a welder qualifying with plied fillet welds in the 3f and 5a position then the welder which position will be qualified in group weld so the simple a welder is qualified already in 3f and 5f position in fillet weld so which which position it is qualified in group definitely it will not group qualified in group it is in fillet position so the any which position he will not qualified in group he will not qualified for group question number 24 who can certify the pqr the answer is the manufacturer and the contractor only certify the pqr 25 in welder performance qualification which variable must be include so you this is tricky question that's a, you are somebody is asking to you in welder performance qualification in wpq which variable must be include so same will be there essential variable essential variable must be include in wpq question number 26 how are the welding electrode are 
grouped in ASME section 9. So, how the welding electrode are grouped in ASME section 9? The answer is SFA number. So, welding electrode, if you go ASME section to part C, that is mentioned that each electrode have their SFA number. So, question number 27. Who is responsible for qualification for welding procedure, welders and welding operator? The answer is the manufacturer. So, manufacturer will employ the whom? The welding inspector and the welding inspector and welding engineer they will prepare the welding procedure also the the WPS all these things so ultimately the manufacturer and the contractor is the responsible so question number 28 a welding electrode has the marking E6010 the one marking indicates what is one so E electrode 6060,000 PSI one means the all position so one means all position Question number 29. Tell the three process of arc welding. So, what is the example? You should give the three process name of arc welding. So, answer is SMAW, GTAW and the PAW, the three process of arc welding. Question number 30. The last question. Give one example of covered electrode. So, covered electrode is E7018. You see there is a cover in if you go the electrode, there is a cover is means the flux. Flux is covered the electrode. So that is called the covered electrode. So question number 30 is the answer is E7018. So you understand all the questions. Definitely you have any queries, then just make a comment in my YouTube comment box. Then I will explain to you if you have any query. So this 90 question is very helpful. If you still need any help from me regarding welding inspector question, let me know. I also in that in that meantime I will also uplo upload here some of the good questions also holding inspector whenever I will get the good questions or the latest question. Thanks a lot. See you soon in the next video. Take care.